Hi paintballers, it's uh, Airways of 44 here. Uh, this is uh, a difference in what I usually do. I usually do like racing videos and stuff. But um, I also uh, play paintball quite a bit, so I'm going to show you how to make a uh, paintball grenade. It's going to come out looking something like this. Um, I'm just using water right now, so it's not going to be a real paintball grenade. Um, the fill, though, you start by boiling, just plain water. You add cornstarch and you add um, like food coloring, and you can also add a scent and you know make the opponents like smell bad or you know make them smell good or you know something like that. So. Um, all right, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. First, what you need is you'll need some of this uh, latex tubing. Um, I, you can find this like at Lowe's or any hardware store. I mean, the, this is everywhere. Um, you'll need uh, some zip ties. You'll probably need about two. Um, you'll need uh, wire cutters and maybe scissors, you know, to cut the wire with. You'll need something to mark it with. Uh, and you'll also need a uh, 7 16 washer. Um, they can be metal or plastic, it doesn't really matter. And you also need one of these cotter pins. Um, and then to fill it, you'll need a, a spray bottle cap or, uh, you know, or you can also use a syringe. Um, what you also need to do is uh, you'll need to take the cap part of this off or else the latex tubing is just not going to fit on. Um, Alright, what you're going to do first is you're going to take a tape measure or something going to measure out about six inches. That's what I use for my grenades. You measure out six inches, you know, then you... Just a moment. Measure out about six inches. Just put a little line here so I know where to cut it. Just like that. Now, we don't need to use the tape measure again. Yay! Um, Alright, now, now that you made your mark, you'll take the wire cutters. Um, this requires a little bit of elbow grease, and you just line it up and you, you cut it. It's kind of hard. So then, you have six inches of latex tubing. Um, now, what you do is you take a little, a little bit less than a half inch here, and you bend it over. Um, what some people also do is they tie a knot in the end. Um, I personally prefer just doing this. This is easier for me. <coughs> yeah. Just a moment while I get this. You'll need to get this really tight. Get it as tight as you can. Alright, that's as tight as I can get in. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to need to prime this um, so that I I got an air bubble in once and then it was like, what the heck is this work? Why the heck is this working? You just prime it in water. And what you do is you take this, oh, well, you can cut this tail off using the uh, wire cutters. Now what you do is you simply fit this over the end this is a kind of hard one. Stretch it out a bit. Can you stretch it out a bit? Yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, this is uh, one of my friends here behind the camera. Hi. Hello to the world. I'm Seamus. It's hard to turn the camera around to show yourself, so I'm keeping it on Scott. Better if there's a mirror behind you. <laughs> Alright, that goes on easier. Thanks, Seamus. Yep. Right now, see, we got it fitted on. Now, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to hold on to this, really hold on to this. Then you just start pumping. What'll start to happen That's is what you'll she get. Said. Um, now, you'll start to get a bubble here. It gets, it actually starts getting hard after a while. What you get, might have to do is you might have to move the bubble down. And that you just pretty much just pinch and move it down. <laughs> and 
And after a while, the sausage shape starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Make sure you keep on holding it onto the nozzle. Crap, I'm starting to get an air bubble. I'll take this up as far as I can, guys. Should be easier to fill with paint. It's thicker. Good exercise for your fingers. Yeah, good wrist exercise. And one, two, one, rest. One, two, one, rest. All right, um, yeah, that's probably big enough. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, at the same time, you're gonna pinch this, make sure that no, like, I mean, if this was really paint, I'd be a lot more careful, but it's just water. So, so my computer. Ah, no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> This does not use the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, but it's funny. Feel free to laugh, guys. Tell your friends about this. There's a new comedy up on YouTube. The exercising paintball grenade making... failure. But also not failure. Alright, now you're gonna... Dang it! <laughs> you, need lay down some, you need to lay down some uh, paper towels. Yes, I do. Only if you had two hands. Or three hands. <laughs> All right. See, if this was really paint, this would really suck. And Especially sorry, the younger viewers, but pardon the language. Parents, I am so sorry, but you know, I am, you know, a teenager, and like so. Okay, you just, I kind of skipped this step. Um, you just uh, fold the top end over and you put the washer on. Then what you do is you take the cotter pin. And just simply slide it through the loop. Ah, I'm leaking. That's what she says. She must shut up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you're able to, you can buy a smaller washer. Yeah. As Shima said, smaller washers uh, also help. But as with paint, thicker, shouldn't leak through as well. Well, anyway, it's basically like that. I don't think we're going to throw this one. We'll throw the other one. Um, all right, now what you do... Oh, hey, it stopped leaking, sweet. Um, you take this, you take the other zip tie, just thread it through the loop on the cotter pin. You don't really need to do this, it just makes it look really cool. You just thread it through like this. So then you get a little bit of a pull pin, and you just, you just snip the top off, ouch, and there you go. There is your 100% homemade paintball grenade. Uh, alright, here we go, we got the grenade, um, goggles on. Our insurance companies would kill us if we didn't, you know, wear goggles while we're doing lethal experiments. I, I know, I'm just kidding, I mean, I, I don't really have to wear these, but I like wearing them, they're cool. <laughs> Um, yes, it is like 20 degrees out right now. Yeah, yeah, this, you can see our breath. Um, all right, grenade, fire in the hole. Oh, what you do to fire these is you just pull the pin out and you throw them. Bucky got scared. All right, we'll do another one here. And I'll show you the water damage just from the water splatter from it going off. You can see right. that goes through a wide range. Now imagine an opponent is standing right here. Yeah, I'm out. All right, here, let's back up. We'll do another one. Hey, we got another one here. Bucky, watch out. Oh, come here, Bucky. Stay. He's good. All right, same thing. Fire in the hole. Oh, you said, uh, we can set a spurt on that one. 